Let's kick in. Let's kick in. Thank you guys for being here. Baller Boot Camp Session 3. We just arrived from 4th of July weekend. Thank you for showing up. Uh, if you are watching from a later time, thank you for watching as well. And hopefully you did the first session and the second session. So you're week three in right now. I'm DJ Divini. I'm a professional freestyler. I used to play Division One college soccer. And now I'm still kind of quarantined at home. So I wanted to give the opportunity for you to work out with me. Um, we're going to get started in one minute. We're going to have splits of one minute on, one minute off intervals. So high intensity interval training. You need a ball, you need some cones, and you need a little bit of space. Um, I'll go through each exercise and setup as we're getting into them. We'll have a two minute recovery period between cycles with five total cycles. So we have exercise one minute on and off for three sets, two minute recovery, and then we do that repetition again five times for the workout. So to start, I'm taking six cones. So we need six cones to start, we're going to make two boxes. Starting the first box at the back. Make it as big as you can with the space that you have. Starting our warm up in 60 seconds, but first make sure you set up two boxes. Mine are about a yard and a half apart from side to side, front to front. Two small boxes with cones. And again, you need a soccer ball for this workout. Put that on the side. We're gonna warm up a little bit with and without the ball. Uh, and then as we get to the end of the warm up, we'll get into the main exercises that we're starting with. All right, here we go. I'm gonna jog around in a circle. Not exciting, but it gets the job done and gets your heart rate up so you can jog around where you can jog in place, whatever you have the space to do. All right, and we're gonna switch to skipping. Again, skipping in place, or you can skip through your space, depending on how much space you have. And shuffling side to side, I'm going forwards and sideways as well, and then backwards and sideways as I play. I get that body moving laterally for soccer, for football, instead of just forward and back. Make sure our legs and joints are ready for it. Shake those legs out. We'll get a quick stretch. Hold one knee to the chest for three seconds and switch it. And then a quad, same thing. Opposite. Hamstrings, one leg out in front, bend at the waist. And switch it up. Lean to one side. Hips down, butt back. Opposite. Down to the middle, elbows pushing the knees out. This is a good time if you're in the chat, if you're just watching, to put in what you want to learn in these workouts, in these sessions, so that I can plan 
the next sessions to include that so you can participate as well. All right. Let's go to the back here. I'm just going to get a little high knee action moving to the front. I'm going to do a little jog back two times through each of these movements. I'm going to kind of do the similar thing, but I'm going to be lifting my heels to my butt as I move forward. Same thing, bring those heels up. Two foot jump. Same thing, second time through. One foot pauses. Normally I've got some extra steps in here, but don't have a lot of space. So just alternate continuous pauses. Try to make a tripod with that foot and really hold your position without bounding or bouncing. Low athletic side shuffle. Same thing, same way. Low and athletic push and step as you move. Switch it to the opposite. Last one. We'll get a little forwards and backwards movement with our cone set up. We'll go forward around the first cone and backwards around the first cone. Forward around the second, backwards around the first. So forward and back movements all the way up and all the way back. Finishing through and jogging to the beginning. Deep breath. Go through that one more time. Opposite direction. Forward. Around the cone, backwards to the beginning, and through. Let's get the ball involved here, and we'll just do a simple weave in and out of one side, around the cones, to the top, and back through. Twice through on the right. Twice through on the left. Jobby job. We're going full squat. Again, do that squat check before every time you start squatting. Just make sure they have good technique or the best that you can do. Feet shoulder width apart. Okay, I'm bending at the knees. My hips go down and my butt shoots back. My back stays straight. I go down into about 90 degrees or even lower, whatever my best range of motion is. I keep my chin up in a neutral position. Just gonna crank out with five. I'm going to back up and I'm going to go into a few squat jumps here. Same principle, we want to land soft into that squat and jump into another. We're going to be using this in our first round of exercises. So I'm going to go down for a squat and jump up. Down for a squat and jump up. Down for a squat and jump up. Same thing, but this time I'm going to jump fully and land. So now we'll combine those two together, full squat jumps. Make sure those legs are nice and woken up, nice and activated. Let's switch it up to a lunge, straight leg lunge. One knee down, almost touching the floor. You can have that hip flexor stretch if you want. 
open up a little bit wider for balance and for the groin. Same thing, opposite leg. A few minutes left in our warm up, and then we're getting started. We're gonna hit a few leg swings. Just swing one leg back and forth in a kicking motion. Switch it up. Same thing, but come across the body. Open that hip up. Opposite. Hold on to something like a wall or a chair for balance here. Take this last minute to stretch anything you need while I explain our first round of movements. We have one minute of exercise. We're going to be making a zigzag, essentially, going diagonally from one back home position back to the bottom, turning and going vertical to the top. Back down to the bottom, vertical to the top, back down to the bottom, diagonal. So it's just a simple diagonal. Go across, go diagonal again, diagonal, diagonal again. So we're going to mix in diagonals and lateral vertical dribbles. For right now, you can do either direction as long as you're hitting some of them each time. During our one minute of rest, we're going to do an active rest where we hit those squats and squat jumps. The first round will just be squats, just like this. Nice, slow, and controlled for one minute. For rounds two and three, we're building that into a squat jump as we're moving forward, forward through this gate. One more time. First round is coming up. Start at the back corner, diagonally forward. Come across, diagonally down. Cross again, diagonally forward. Cross, diagonally down. Simple pattern, simple Z pattern, hitting it for one minute straight. Here we go. Try to go as quickly as you can with good technique, making sure we hang on to that ball. Sharp little touches inside and outside parts of the foot. Use the laces. Work with the space that you have. My space is small, so it's kind of difficult. I want to be more explosive than this, but I'm going to run into the wall. If you have more space, open it up. Keep that rhythm going. Finish the minute out. deep breath. Good, and we'll start our squats. Here we go. Let's shoot for a rep range of about 20 on these squats. All the way down, all the way up. Try to do these slow and controlled in both directions and not like this or bouncing really low. Slow and controlled all the way down and up. Breathe as you play. A couple seconds left, and then we're switching back to our dribble. This time we'll make sure we start on the opposite back corner of those cones. Last one. Get that ball back and get ready. So this time we'll start on the opposite side, opposite diagonal. So the focus is more on the left foot this time. Makes me get my right for the turns. Get 
Again, going as fast as I can with good control. Try to keep your touches sharp the entire time. Find a rhythm. If you make a mistake, no big deal. Just fix your setup and try to keep going the best that you can. seconds. Fix your setup like me if you need to. And then get ready for those squat jumps. So we're starting at the back and we're doing a full squat jump. But we're moving slightly forward as we go. We're going to hit a rep range of about 10 here as we move forward. It's a small jump forward and it's a smaller range of motion down. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll take 20 seconds to rest. A little more rest time because that's more explosive. Just walk around with your ball. Then we have our last set of diagonal and vertical dribbles. On this last set, I want you to be free and creative to go in any direction. So you can hit any vertical, you can hit any lateral, you can hit any diagonal. Let's go. You can also change direction. Feel free to mix it up. Try not to be predictable in your movement. All that we're focusing on is hitting laterals, verticals, and diagonals. Jump, same thing, we're going 10 total. Start from the back, make your way forward as you jump. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good job, and rest. Woo. So now we have a recovery period of two minutes. Take this time, deep breaths in, deep breaths out, get that drink, shake your legs out, stretch anything you need before we go into the next exercise. Someone said I'm boring because I'm ignoring you. I'm not ignoring you, I'm, I'm working, I'm training. I can't be on my computer and demonstrating to you at the same time. But if you are training with me, thank you. I hope you're enjoying the workout so far. I'm sweating already. We're only on exercise one. We have a minute 40 seconds of recovery time. I'm gonna explain the next set. We're gonna keep it going today with this setup and just build a progression. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that same exact thing, except I'm gonna start at the back corner and I'm gonna go diagonally, vertically, all the way to the top opposite corner. So same pattern, but bigger space. Same thing, come around the bottom, accelerate back to the top, back to the bottom, and so on. So it's the same exact pattern as step one before, except we're going all the way to the top. We should see more explosiveness, depending on your space, and a bigger touch with the laces as you get forward. For active rest, we're gonna mimic the same thing. We're gonna do alternating lunges. On the first one, we'll just do a regular alternating lunge. 
rounds two and three, we might mix that into a split squat jump for a challenge. 30 seconds, get that last drink, that last stretch that you need. We'll get started. Make sure you're ready with your ball. Here we go, a couple seconds left. Make sure we're ready, going right into the exercise two. Full dribble forward diagonal. Three rounds straight of this, let's go. Drive forward all the way to the top, cut all the way back down. Again, find that rhythm, a little bit more speed this time, since we should have more space. Keep that pattern the whole time. tripod of that foot, your toes, your heels, the ball of the foot, the outside of the foot. Engage all your stabilizer muscles as you push the floor down. Stay nice and tall with your head up. Almost there. A couple left. And rest. On that beep, we're going back into our diagonals but on the opposite side. As we get fatigued here, the touches are going to become more difficult. We're going to lose our focus, so try to stay tuned in. Here we go. Already messed up. lunges the same way, alternate one at a time. We'll skip the split squat jumps for this workout. We'll save it for next time. Keep breathing as you play, exhaling out as you push with those feet through the ground. one. Good, and rest. This time, same thing as the last third set. Creative freedom. So you can hit any long diagonal, any long vertical or lateral throughout the space. Try to mix it up and be unpredictable as you play.
sit back as well. Remember, we're hitting 20, and we have two minutes of recovery. Keep breathing. This is the end of the second group of exercises. We have three more for today's workout. Pretty good so far. Sweating like crazy, I hope you are too. Let's finish this last bit of lunges here. Last one. All right, and rest, shake it out. Deep breath. And relax. All right, take that break. Get a drink. Two minutes of recovery. I'll be going through the next round of exercise. Round three, we're starting at the back the same way, except we're gonna go vertically forward instead of diagonal. After our vertical, we're gonna hit some sort of move to get to the outside, finish vertical, and come back down diagonally. Shift back into the middle, some sort of move to get out, to get up, and to get back down. So before we're just doing a technical dribble with a diagonal and a lateral, now we're adding some sort of shift, some sort of skill to get to the outside as if we would beat past the defender diagonally. We want to hit that right in the middle, so we need to be sharp here before that space so we can get out and then explosively get up to the top. Once you get to the top, turn and diagonally down throughout one side, shift back in, and try to attack the opposite side each time. Our active rest is going to be a push-up walkout, or like an inchworm, so we're starting hands down, walk the hands, push up, walk the feet, walk the hands, push up, walk the feet, and inchworm your way all the way past the top and jog back. We'll be going through that two times for our active rest. So again, we have a sharp dribble forward with some sort of skill getting to the outside and then accelerating to the top, turning, diagonally down to the back, shift back into the middle, get out to the other side, get vertically to the top, and then get back diagonally down. Here we go. Get out, get up, get back to the back, shift your way back in, start the other side. Try to hit as much of a change of speed as possible, exaggerate this cut, outside and up. Have a slower jog on the way back, but let's get to the top very fast. down, walk the hands out, full push up, walk the feet in, hands out, down, feet in. I'm getting about three, and then I'm jogging back 
I'll do one more round for this rest. And rest. Same exact thing on our dribble. We're hitting that skill move at the middle, getting to an outside, and then getting vertical. Turning, coming back diagonal. So drive, hit some sort of skill, cut, drive. Change directions, back down. Try to hit both sides. Try to mix up your skill moves. Can exaggerate the moment between here and here, getting out and up, and then slow down on your way back. I'm just slowing down here a lot because I'm sweating on the floor. I don't want to slip. Worm. Down, walk it out. Push up, walk it in. Do three, and then jog your way back to do three more. Reach down, hands walk all the way out to the top. Push up, hands stay still, feet walk all the way in. And rest. Sweating a lot on the floor here, so I just want to make sure I don't die on camera. Wiping out. Let's go, last set. Same exact thing. Drive, skill move, cut, drive to the top. The angle back down. on that change of speed, change of direction, hitting that skill move nice and sharp. If you make a mistake, you can either just keep going or start again. I don't have room in here. A couple more reps, try to mix up that skill. Worms, and then we got recovery. Let's walk it out. Walk it in. Drop back for a second set. Last set. Two more rounds left. Get that drink, get that rest right now. All right, almost there with this session. Great job so far. Alright, this round, 
We're going to continue to progress. Same as last time, but instead, we're going to hit a move all the way at the top, and we're going to come back with a sharp turn. So instead of hitting a move here, in the middle, and driving forward, we're hitting a move at the top, at more speed to get us to the outside, and then we're doing some sort of shift or turn to quickly come back. Usually, if I had the space, I would have us drive this big skill move up and out, but we don't have the space, so we're going to hit a turn instead on the pressure. So I drive some sort of skill to get out, some sort of turn to come back. I reset at the bottom, and I go with speed to the top. For our active rest, we're going to be doing lateral jumps. So I'm basically going to load up into a squat, and then I'm going to push myself over to the other side. Go down into a squat, push myself to that other side. Low athletic, controlled, explosive on that press. I'm going about the distance of my gates. We'll shoot for a rep range there of about 10 on our active rest. Make sure you're ready, make sure you're set up. Get that last sip of water, here we go. Drives to the top, something explosive, some shift to come back away from that pressure. Reset at the bottom, take a rest, pause, deep breath, but then drive quickly. Deep breath. As you're taking this pause here, Know what you're going to do as you get to the top of that movement. As you're driving, know what you're going to do to beat that pressure and come back. jump, starting on one side, down low into a squat, push and explode to the other side. Try to stay low in this push, like you're gliding across the floor. Come back to the top to reset. Again, driving with speed from the bottom, attacking, get that skill to the outside, and then quickly shift away from that pressure to the back. Reset at the bottom, deep breath, attack again at speed. To that lateral jump, squat down, push across, stand up, squat down, push across, low athletic, try to glide across that floor. And 
rest. Good job, guys. All right. Let's take a break. Let's get that ball. And let's just do a jungle cool down. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to cut this session short because I just have too much sweat um, and moisture on the floor and I'm starting to slip and it's honestly getting a little dangerous. So before I fall and hurt myself, I'm just gonna switch and we'll finish with some juggling so that we're not shifting on the floor too much. Speed juggling, let's hit 20. If you're struggling, use bounces in between the touches to keep control. Once you hit those 20, grab that ball. We're going to come up to the thighs to do the same thing. Okay, try to do as many as you can at one time before making a mistake. And then count from there until you get to 20. So if you get three and you mess up, start from three until you get to 20. seconds. Let you guys keep juggling. If you're struggling with the thigh touch, all you have to do is bring your knee up to waist height. Make sure you make contact with the bottom of the ball on the middle of your thigh and be firm with it, making contact at the same time that the ball gets to your waist. Start with one and then try to alternate for two at a time. Right, and we'll finish with the pattern. Our goal is to do two with the feet and two with the thighs consecutively. Feet, feet, thigh, thigh. Feet, feet, thigh, thigh. Simple pattern. Again, if you're struggling, use those bounces on the first two touches. Go so right, left, right, left. The thighs will have to go in one shot. So be right. Left to a thigh, one, two. Let it bounce, right, left, thigh, thigh. Bounce, right, left, thigh, thigh. So your second touch is always just popping it up for your thighs. If you want a challenge, go continuous in the air. One minute left, see how many rounds of that feet, feet, thigh, thigh that you can do in one minute and keep that top score. Here we go. So four touches is one round. Three, four, seconds. Ah. Three, two, one, and time. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining Baller Boot Camp. We'll be back next week, uh, and I'm going to try to modify it so it's a little bit lighter, so I'm not sweating as much, so we can get through a full, uh, concise workout. But if you did those three rounds with me, we're going pretty hard, pretty sweaty right now. Um, so again, as always, play at your own speed. If you didn't do the first two sessions, make sure you go back and do those so you know what to expect every time we come to class. Thank you guys, and see you next time.